Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video I've got a really exciting update for you about the Hyperloop, which is a crazy sounding futuristic method of transportation that's actually on the brink of becoming a reality. So if you haven't heard of Hyperloop before, it was first announced back in 2013 by Elon Musk, and he described it as the fifth method of transportation, a cross between a Concorde, a railgun, and an air hockey table. According to Elon Musk, passengers will be able to travel through depressurized tubes in pods capable of over 700 miles per hour, which is actually beyond the speed of sound and comfortably faster than a commercial airliner. The way Hyperloop will manage to accomplish all this is by dramatically reducing friction, the tunnels through which it's operating will have most of their air removed so they won't be complete vacuums, but the much less air will mean reduced friction and also less energy being required to reach a higher speed. The Hyperloop pods, which will each contain a handful of passengers, will also be held above the ground by a layer of air, similar to how the puck of an air hockey table floats above its surface. Now all of this was just conjecture back when Elon Musk first announced it, but just in the past week, the chief executive of Virgin Hyperloop One, Rob Lloyd, has confirmed that the company expects to start building before 2020. In an official statement, he said somewhere in the world, we are very confident we would begin construction in 2019, with initial testing at production level in 2021. Now, it's not completely clear where the first Hyperloop is going to be built just yet. There's obviously considerable interest from a number of different places, and in the US, Hyperloop One has said that Colorado is emerging as a prominent option, but it is just as likely that a location elsewhere in the world might get the nod. It is also important to mention that Hyperloop One is not not the only company working on a Hyperloop right now. Another company called Hyperloop Transportation Technologies also launched soon after Musk published his white paper, and although it's based in the US, it's made a lot of progress in Eastern Europe, India, and South Korea. The company center in France is currently working on the first full-scale Hyperloop passenger capsule, which it hopes to unveil in early 2018, and it's actually a whole lot larger than those designed by Musk, with each capsule in 98.5 feet in length, 9 feet in diameter, and weighing 20 tons, with the ability to carry between 28 and 40 passengers at up to 760 miles per hour. Now one thing that is really interesting is that HTT's transportation system is actually kind of different from what Elon Musk was originally proposing. They're using passive magnetic levitation to raise the capsules into the air, similar to how maglev trains already work. HTT is going to be placing rows of magnets along the track and along the underside of each capsule, so basically the magnets will repel each other and force the capsule to le levitate once it's driven forward by an electric motor. Once the capsule is levitating and traveling through the tunnel with its air removed, HTT claims that very little energy is required to sustain speeds of over 700 miles per hour. HTT has a number of agreements right now. They've got agreements with Slovakia and the Czech Republic, for instance, for potential Hyperloop installations, and they're also planning to bring the Hyperloop to the US sometime in the future as well. Now, as if HTT and Hyperloop One weren't already working fast enough to bring Hyperloops to reality, Elon Musk has also said that he's going to be building his own Hyperloop if other companies don't make it happen soon enough. He just recently tweeted that he received verbal government approval for the boring company to build an underground New York to Philadelphia to Baltimore to DC Hyperloop, and apparently it would be able to get from New York to DC in only 29 minutes. A lot of people thought that Musk was just throwing a crazy idea out there, but the boring company actually just recently made an official announcement that it plans to build low-cost fast to dig tunnels that will house new high-speed transportation systems. Most will be standard pressurized tunnels with electric skates going 125 plus miles per hour, but for long distance routes and straight lines such as from New York to DC, it would make sense to use pressurized pods in a depressurized tunnel to allow speeds of approximately 600 plus miles per hour. Now it is kind of crazy that there are three separate companies all working to bring Hyperloop to reality, but that's exactly what's happening, and that's a good thing, because at first Hyperloop probably will be pretty expensive. According to the CEO of Hyperloop One, it is going to be only accessible to very wealthy people at the beginning, but over time Hyperloop will become more inclusive and people won't be priced out. Hyperloop One's ultimate goal is to get costs as low as two thirds as high as a high speed rail, and he was projecting that a trip between two cities 50 to 60 kilometers apart could cost as little as $5. In the end, Hyperloop is going to be a really revolutionary way of getting from one place to another if it actually does come to the US, and I'm really, really excited to see more about it. It's sort of the sort of futuristic type of transportation that people were predicting a number of years back, but we haven't really had before now, and it'll be really exciting to see which company actually brings this to reality first. But with that said, give me your opinions about Hyperloop in the comment section down below. Let me know if you'd be interested in riding one to make your commutes with. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will We'll see you next time.